Yo, Sasha, so I've always thought it really weird that we have like thousands and thousands of businesses, like possibly millions of businesses around the globe that essentially do the exact same thing. They provide one service just with a different name, different brand. And like, sure, that's just how we work. That's kind of the capitalist system we live in. That's kind of, you know, everyone's used to it. Competition's sold to us, like, from a very early age. It's a really good thing. But I actually think in many cases, it causes a lot of inefficiency. So looking at one very basic example, let's look at our web design. Now, there are hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of web design, either firms, like big, large firms, or individual freelancers around the world. Now, even in Australia, each of those individuals, just to get started, has to register a business name, they have to register a business number, they need a domain name, they need a um, branding, they need logos, a website, all this crap. Sure, they're competing on price and skill, but a lot of it's like a perception. I mean, like it's someone's brand name, someone's business name, and a lot of it is like a built-up perception of word of mouth, of trust over many, many years, and that's all they have to get. But ultimately, the service is exactly the same. I mean, um, an individual who's actually pretty adept at uh, website development can develop something just as good, if not better, than a large firm. So they're all, like, it's all... And so I think as a result, you get a little bit of value add from the competition, but you lose so much of that from redundancy, from everyone having to create their own business name, their own brand, their own website, and try and sell themselves separately. And then, of course, like if you look at the whole thing, there's a lot of redundancies and duplication in terms of like admin stuff, in terms of back end stuff, taxation, bank accounts, advertising costs, marketing costs, all of this. So many redundancies. And this is one of the reasons why I'd love to eventually see our entire economy transition to a pure peer to peer economy where there are no businesses, there's no structures, formal structures, there's no top down, it's just pure peer to peer, bottom up, self organized. And this is where the blockchain could come in handy again. So imagine instead of having like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, web design firms all around the world, you have one global DAO, and that becomes the standard that everyone goes to to get a web. So that you need a website done, you don't go to like XYZ Corp or some you know local firm or someone you've seen a pamphlet or a flyer or whatever. You go to this one global brand and you just go there and you get everything. You can think of this as something akin to like you know a freelancer.com or an upwork.com where you can go and basically you know request any work to be done. Um, so it's like a marketplace, but the difference being this is a decentralized open marketplace. You can create a DAO, like a decentralized autonomous organization running on like the Ethereum blockchain, um, but each DAO would be specific for each type of business service, so web design, graphic design, accounting, etc. These DAOs wouldn't be owned by anyone, they'd be kind of like managed and upgraded by a foundation of sorts that is a collective of all the people who kind of invest into it and are, and are involved in it. And if we just say look at the web design DAO, so the example would be that um, anyone who is a freelance web designer anywhere in the world or any existing firm would kind of register their firm and their details onto this blockchain DAO. And then obviously anyone who needs a website done in any form basically puts that request up. So it's it's kind of like it starts off as a marketplace. So you have like, you know, uh, geek requests and people who can match those requests. And as this DAO gets to the point where it's actually intelligent enough, it can do automatic uh, matching. So things like Freelancer and Upwork, they suck because it's a bidding process. So it's not automatic. It should just be it matches gigs to people. And then it can start offering other services. So it can like handle all of the back end accounting, admin, uh, marketing, advertising. Basically, it almost acts as like a giant global cooperative. And the beauty of this is that because DAOs and blockchains kind of like can never ever be shut down, everything that gets added to it, every hour that gets worked on it, it's always building a network effect. So it gets to a huge scale. Meaning at some point, like as you start building this thing up, at some point it'll hit such a huge scale that all existing firms in the world will have to plug in to remain competitive. And so now once you've got all these like freelancers and all these like uh, big, like, you know, I think hundred, couple hundred people, uh, web design firms all plugged into this same cooperative blockchain thing, it's all peer to peer. You eventually remove all the inefficiencies. You don't need all these brand names, you don't need all these logos, you don't need office space, all this overhead, admin stuff, all this crap. The gig comes in, it's peer to peer. It goes straight to the people who can make it happen. So you can start with the lowest hanging fruit and basically create uh, these global cooperative DAOs for each individual business sector. So maybe start with web design, maybe start with graphic design, maybe accounting. So work out the two-sided marketplace problem. So like, you know, have gigs coming in and then have people who are registered on the system to receive those gigs. Then start encouraging uh, firms to start plugging in so they have to rely on their system. And do that for every single type of business service in the world. So you're basically like uh, conglomerating every single type of business into one single umbrella cooperative DAO on the blockchain. And the result of all this is that we essentially remove all inefficiencies from business across the world and we turn into a global peer-to-peer -peer economy where we're much more resilient, much more agile, and everyone works for themselves. <laughs>